Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Dr. Therese Bright and Dr. Anthony Bright. We're founders and pastors of World Night Christ Ministries. Amen. And we're here to minister to you again today. And uh, this is number 20 of our series, You Are Blessed. We made a blessing through the Holy Spirit by multiplication. Amen. 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 So we want you to stay tuned. We're going to praise and worship the Lord first and then get into the message that will really bless you. Amen. the call of my bones. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Now we're going to get to our message. We're talking today about your blessed be a blessing through the Holy Spirit by multiplication. Amen. Amen. And we're going to start with Exodus chapter 1, verse 7. And the children of Israel were fru fruitful and multiplied and waxed exceeding mighty and the land was filled with them. Amen. Amen. See, we see what caused people to be multiplied is their reaction when they're being persecuted. Yes, that's see, right. The, the Egyptian was trying to mess them out, to, to give them uh, difficult tasks, things for them to do. Amen. But the more they did that, the more they are multiplied. That's right. We see another example in 2 Corinthians chapter 20. I'm going to, to read that. You can read that yourself. Okay. When the children of Ammon, Moab, and Monser came to attack what? Jehoshaphat of Judah, king of Judah and his people. Yes. They just went there praising the Lord, loving and digging, 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 and blessing the Lord all the time. And the Lord sent abushment. And destroy the Ammon and the Moabite. Yes, he did. So, so we see how children of Judah what, multiply mm -hmm. yeah. their goods. The That's work right. the wicked will transfer to them because they yes. didn't go there complaining. They go in praise and worship, adoring Amen. God. Amen. That's what God wants you to do. Sweet people out there, tell us of praise. Amen. Don't be unsure how people are doing, whether they do witchcraft and put evil on you. It can't stick. No. Amen. Because you're full of the Holy Ghost and fire. That's right. The evil cannot touch you. The Lord is your light and your salvation. The Lord is the strength of our life. When the wicked, even the enemy, come to eat the flesh, they stumble and fall and rise no more. Amen. Because you are most highly favored. You are blessed. You can not do evil to anybody. So many people in the church, the so-called church, so-called Christian, they are practicing voodoo, juju, and all kinds of those things. It will come down upon them. It will work. That's right. Those days are over. 
That's right. Because Jesus is coming. The devil cannot win because he's a loser. Anybody who serves the devil, you're on a losing spree. Amen. 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 But wants to be a champion, winner. Well, but you have to serve God only. Not uh, double, not double standard and right. serving devil and serving God. No. God wants to serve him only because he's a jealous God. So that shall, Jesus said, that shall worship the Lord, him only that shall serve. Amen. That's right. Him only. Only means no one else. I mean, no false God. Amen. Have no other gods before you. Amen. Have no other gods and be real to the, the bone. The first commandment of the Ten Commandments. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, well said. So keep praising and blessing the Lord. Hallelujah. And those who are involved with Christ and all those in praise say, I renounce. I renounce. The devil. The devil. And all his ungodly practices. And all his ungodly practices. I divorce Satan. I divorce Satan. I have no part in it. I have no part in it. It's not my God anymore. It's not my God anymore. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Is my God. Is my God. I will not serve any false God. I will not serve any false God. I will become. I will become. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Whom I serve. Whom I serve. For as Jesus is. So For as I am. Jesus is. So I am in this world. So I am in this world. I'm free from all bondage. I'm free from all bondage. Yes, God's anointing. God's anointing. Destroy all yokes of bondages. Destroys all yokes of bondages. Every moment of my life. I'm the redeemed of the Lord. I'm redeemed from the hand of Satan. I'm justified and made righteous by the blood of Jesus. I'm of prosper blessed. Amen. Now don't go back and do all kind of ungodly practice anymore. No, no, no. You're free don't, from you it. are free from all ungodly practices. Serve Jesus only. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Only you serve. Amen. Amen. And receive God's blessing. And let God use you, multiply you, and be a blessing to multitude. If any man be in Christ, see this, any man be in voodoo or juju, any man be in Christ, is a new creature. Amen. All things are passed away. All things are become new. Amen. Refresh. Strengthen. Because God is a good God. He loves you. Amen. You have to make up your mind whom you serve. Joshua said, me and my household, we say what? The serve Lord. The Lord. Amen. 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 Not serve the devil and serve the Lord. No, no. No mixture here. That's right. You are for real or not. You can play a double standard because God sees everything. And he will judge you accordingly. But I turn from a wicked way. If my people are called by nature, nation, humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and what? And heal the land. See the so, condition. And seek my face and turn. And turn. You forgot the turn part. Turn. Amen. And turn from their wicked ways. That's it. Then I'll hear from heaven Amen. and heal the land. Amen. Amen. So we're going to go praise God for that uh, word from the from my husband. It's very, very um, right on. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Genesis chapter 17 verse 1. And when Abram was nine years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the mighty, almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and thee and will multiply thee exceedingly. See? And he said multiply him exceedingly because he had a covenant with the Lord. And, and, he's, and he's following That's God. It. Following That's God. It. Following righteousness. Say, say walk before me means follow me. Don't follow your own things. Follow me and be that perfect. The word perfect means be that mature in me. As you are following the law, you are maturing. Yes. In his will, in his way, in his timing. You see, then before what? Then you are blessed. Then you are being multiplied. Amen. That's why you continue. Not, not start and quit. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Keep continuing. You will be obedient yes. to the Holy Spirit. Amen. You'll be multiplied. Amen. And people see the multiplication of God. For your life. The yes. multiplication is not getting fat. No, no, no. We're not talking about that. It's what? Being prosperous and increase and multiply. And God's anointing, and His God's glory. His glory. All the, you're multiplying all the things of God and all that God is and all that God has. Amen. For you and for your life and for your children. Hey, let me let me pray. Those who want to receive multiplication, hallelujah. Lead them pray them and pray. Father God, in the mind of Jesus, we just break blessing, increase and multiplication on every side. Bless your people and prosper them. Help them to receive all that you are and all that you have. In Jesus' name, amen. Let them pray repentance, please. Okay. So, 
pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I repent and renounce. I repent and renounce. All sins. All sins. All transgressions. All transgressions. All iniquities. All iniquities. Forgive me. Forgive me. For all my sins. All my sins. And cleanse me. And cleanse from me. From all unrighteousness. From all unrighteousness. And I'm free right now. And I'm free right now. From all my sins. For all my sins. And I'm cleansed. And I'm cleansed. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For setting me free. For setting me free. Amen. Amen. Praise and God. receive impartation of the grace, goodness, and power of the Lord. Spirit, we give you that praise. Amen. So you're talking here about Abram and how he surrendered to the Lord. He said, And I will make my covenant between me and thee, and will multiply thee exceedingly. Exceedingly. And Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Neither, see, that's uh, multiplication. Because it's not only a father of his own children, he said, but many nations many come nations. out of him, from out of him. From his uh, living generation. Amen. Amen. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be called Abraham, for a father of many nations have I made thee. Amen. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. And I will establish my covenant with between me and thee, and thy seed after thee in their generations, for an everlasting covenant, to be a God unto thee, and to thy seed after thee. Amen. How about that? Can you take that? Remember, we are Abraham's seed. Galatians 3 verse 13 Amen. says, Abraham's blessing belongs to us through Christ Jesus. See, it didn't say through Buddha. It's the through Christ Jesus. No. It didn't say through Muhammad. It's through Christ Jesus. Amen. Through Christ Jesus, the Son of the right. living God. That's right. Amen. It didn't say through any false God, but through Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. God. Praise God. Because he says, and continues to say, and God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant, therefore, thou and thy seed after thee in their generations. This is my covenant, which ye shall keep between me and you, and thy seed after thee. Every man child among you shall be circumcised. So here, because he had a covenant with God, and God said, If you keep my covenant, this is what I'll do for you. Amen. So, as Abraham kept the covenant, he was blessed, and uh, he was blessed with uh, Isaac, who was the, the child of promise, Amen. which uh, God uh, used that to um, prove his faith in God. Amen. He had to wait 25 years, but Isaac was born because he was a child Amen. of promise. God Amen. promised him that child, Amen. and uh, he opened Sarah's womb when she was 90 years old, Amen. and Abraham was up in here. So God blessed them to have that child. Amen. Didn't didn't matter their age, because God is uh, all powerful, Almighty. He can do anything. He's a creative God. Amen. And so that they were obedient, mm -hmm. they walked in the covenant, yeah. and they uh, followed after God. Amen. And then God increased and multiplied them Amen. exceedingly abundantly. Amen. Amen. So we see the level of blessing since this episode. Yes. Blessing, increase, fruitfulness. Flourishing, prosperity, and multiplication. It didn't. It didn't impact them. You can continue to multiply on a continual basis. Mm -hmm. See, that's right. In the things of God, we multiply, enjoy. You can be what can God can use it to be a blessing to multitude. Amen. And it continued in his lineage because we are here. We see in Genesis chapter twenty-eight. It says, um, and God Almighty bless thee and make thee fruitful and multiply thee, Ooh. that thou mayest be a multitude of people. See. And this is Isaac's blessing that he spoke over Jacob. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says, and give thee the blessing of Abraham to thee and to thy seed with thee, that thou mayest inherit the land wherein thou art a stranger, which God gave unto Abraham. See. Amen. 
So yeah. here we're talking about Abraham's living generation. Mm -hmm. And they were blessed after him because mm -hmm. Abraham kept the covenant with God. Amen. And uh, he served God. Amen? Amen. And now uh, as we go on, I'll read uh, Deuteronomy 7 verse 13. Okay, Deuteronomy 7. Yes, they are teaching ext extremely very, very well. Excellent. Praise God as we give the honor to the Holy Spirit who helps us. Yeah, Amen. Happy as all. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Love you, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Deuteronomy 7, verse 13. He said, And he will love thee and bless thee and multiply thee. He will also bless the fruit of thy womb. He will receive the, your bless, he'll bless the ch your children. Amen. And the fruit of thy land, thy corn and thy wine and thy oil, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep in the land, which he swear unto thy fathers to give thee. Mm -hmm. So he swear unto the fathers. It was Abraham was the father. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. Those are the fathers of the faith. Amen. Amen. So, and he's talking to the Israelites that because of their fathers were blessed and they walked with the Lord all their days. Amen. Now God is blessing their living generation. Amen. And multiplying them. Certainly. Praise Amen. God. So we see that the when God told Abraham he'll bless him to be a father of many nations and he'll, his seed shall be more than the sand of the sea. Mm -hmm. It came to pass here. And, it, and it's through Jesus Christ. Amen. Because God fulfilled his word mm -hmm. to them. Praise God. And then we see in uh, Proverbs 9, Proverbs chapter 9, verses 9 to 11. Let's go to Proverbs. Amen. Proverbs 9, verses 9 to 11. We'll read that, what God promises here. And it reads, Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Mm. So a wise person with good instruction multiplies in wisdom. Because he will know despite the word. That's the right. He receives, or he'll, he or she receives. He'll humble himself and receive it. And apply and, it. And, and, and get wiser. Mm -hmm. And it says, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. For by me thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. The days of your See? life will be multiplied. Yes, as you um, walk humbly and increase in God's increase in your wisdom, mm -hmm. And uh, learning, he's teaching you new things every day, and you're applying it to your life. Mm -hmm. If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself. But if thou scornest, thou also alone shalt bear it. Amen? Mm -hmm. So here we see how God blessed them. Praise mm -hmm. God. And then in Ezekiel, let's go to Ezekiel chapter 16. 16 verse 7. Amen. Praise the Lord for... Uh, you tuning in today. Amen. We really appreciate you. My name is Dr. Therese Bright. If you just tune in in the middle of this, and my husband, Dr. Anthony Bright. Amen. And we're uh, hi, hi, hi. pleased to be um, teaching you today. And so, mentoring you. Ezekiel 16, verse 7, and it reads, I have caused thee to multiply as the bud of the field, hmm. and thou hast increased in waxing great, and thou art come to ex excellent ornaments. Hmm. Amen. So here he says, um, he causes us to multiply and increase. Mm -hmm. And what is it we said earlier? It's through obedience, mm -hmm. through fellowship with the Lord, Amen. through walking with the Lord, Amen. through um, walking in the Word. And uh, so God makes you a blessing so you can be a blessing to others. Amen. Amen. And as he increases and multiplies the anointing on your life, then you're able to pass that on and people who are say if you're in the ministry and God's doing that for you, the same thing is going to be passed on to those who are sitting up under your teaching. Amen. Amen. Because they partake of the fruit that's on the pastor's life. Amen. Amen. And the pastor, when the pastor has bad fruit, bad fruit will manifest in the pulpit. Amen. Well, in, in, the, the, in, in the, the pew. In the pew. Amen. From the pulpit. From the pulpit to the pew. So, so as the pastor lives godly, holy, mm -hmm. And God's blessing and increase and multiplying Him, mm -hmm. then the people will also be blessed. Amen. It's like Amen. an oil from the ointment from the head going down the body. Amen. 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 That's a we, Pastor, we are held responsible, we are held to a higher standard. Yes. Because your sin does not affect you, affect your family and people you are pastoring. 
they already have problem already. So help them out by living right. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Because they are not allowed to destroy every yoke. So they can be what? Be free to win others to Christ. Amen. Praise God. Now it's saying a similar thing in Ezekiel 36 verse 30. It says that I will multiply the fruit of the tree mm -hmm. and the increase of the field. And ye shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So here we see increase and multiplication again of the, the people that were living right, walking uprightly before the Lord. Always received increase and multiplication. Amen. Amen. Of God's best. Amen. Not That's God's, God's best. Less. Not Amen. God's less. God's best. Amen. You willing to take more? Amen. I am. Keep on. Keep on hungry and thirsty after righteousness. You see, and so um, the thing we we didn't mention earlier is the reason we talk about the Holy Spirit so much is because the Holy Spirit is here on earth to help the, a Christian to walk in the Christian life. Amen. We can't do it on our own. We need the help of the Holy Spirit. All the so when you call on to Him and ask Him to help you, He is right there to help you. Amen. Amen. So now we're going to go to the New Testament. And it takes a humble person to call upon Him. People are proudful. They are self-sufficient. They are conceit. Amen. See? And they think highly of themselves. They think they can do it on their own human effort. They are self-made people. I don't want to be self-made. I want to be Holy Spirit made person. Amen. Amen. By yielding, by cooperating, continuing with the blessed Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go to Acts chapter 6, verse 7. And the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. Amen. And a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. Hmm. So here we see, because of the apostles were reaching out to other people, and that uh, they were discipling, they were talking about the Lord, and people were getting saved. And they are living right. Amen. Because it says they were obedient. It says the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. And a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. Amen. And so they said they're obedient to the faith. They were re reaching out to other people, and God was increasing and multiplying them. How did you get faith anyway? Faith come by hearing. Amen. Hearing by the word of God. Amen. And faith works by love. Yes. See, the apostles were teaching and preaching the word. And the people heard it, they received, were obedient to the faith. What was the result? The disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's a principle laid down in the Bible whereby all believers can follow through so they can what? Live in the life of abundance, increase, Praise God. and multiplication. Amen. So let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 10. It says, Now he that ministereth seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed sown, mm -hmm. and increase the fruits of your righteousness. So here we see that God, he takes what you give to him, whether your substance to him, and your tithes and offerings, and he will multiply that back to you. But we have to be able to, we have to release it out of our hands and give it to him first in order for him to do that. Because God's always interested in increase and multiplication. So if you never give anything, then you're not going to see that increase in multiplication. You'll have poverty, debt, and lack yeah. if you're not given to the Lord. And that's where many people make the mistake. They said, oh, I can't afford to give. Well, you can't, can't afford not to give Amen. is the truth. It's a lie from the devil that you can't afford to give. Yeah. People um, in third world countries, they didn't have finances to give, so what they started, they just gave up their substance. If they, if they raised goats, they gave the, the pastor a goat. If they raised chickens, they brought them their best chicken. And then God started increasing and multiplying, and then they had money to give, so they started giving their, 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 their finances to him. So, but they started somewhere. God wants you to start somewhere and uh, give to him and operate in his principles so that you can be blessed. Because he's always, uh, he always blesses the obedient. Amen. And he wants people to be faithful uh, givers so that he can give back to you and increase you Amen. and multiply you more and more. So, as we s said, the title of our, this, this series is, he's, he's blessing you to make you a blessing to others. Amen. Amen. And this is one is on multiplication. Multiplication. Amen. Amen. You have more to share? Oh, yes. I'm full of the Holy Ghost and fire, 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 fire. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm excited. 
Amen. Lord, share your hand and do it. Thank you, Jesus. Let's give this time to praise the Lord. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord. We give, we you, give glory. you glory. We give you honor. Those who don't know Jesus, pray this prayer after. Say, Jesus. Jesus. I'm sorry for my sins. I'm sorry for my sins. Come into my heart right now. Come into my heart right now. Save me. Save me. Make me your own. Make me your own. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now, those who are baptized in the Holy Spirit, whether first time or continually. Say, Lord, say Holy, Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. You are a gift from my Father. You are a gift from my Father. And Jesus. And Jesus. To me. To me. I receive you right now. I receive you right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. With the evidence of speaking in other With tongues. the evidence of speaking in other tongues. Okay, kaka 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 speak it out. Okay, and I'm bam 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 Baptist, you say, shall receive power after the Holy Ghost come upon you. The Holy Ghost come first, then receive the power and the fire. Amen. Say, Jesus, I want your fire. Jesus, I want your fire. Baptize me with your fresh fire now. Baptize me with fresh fire now. And I receive your fresh and fire And I receive right now. your fresh fire right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Those who want to receive the favor of God. We send the favor of God upon you to be most yes, highly favored with God, all time. people. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus, and be blessed and prosper and flourish and increase and multiply in Jesus' name. Those want to be healed, put your hand where you're hurting. We send the word of God to you to be made whole right now in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Those who want to prosper and multiply, we send the word of God to you, cause it to multiply in the presence, in the word, in the glory, in the fullness of God. In the name of Jesus, as it continues to decrease, God continues to multiply in your, in your life, until you deal with it bountifully, generously, graciously, lovingly, tenderly. So to keep the word of the Lord and their blessing to the multitude. Right now, if you want to, to an intimate fellowship with the Holy Spirit, we release the anointing right now to Amen. draw you right to now. Jesus, to draw you the okay. Holy Spirit, <inaudible> to cause you to continue fellowship, Amen. communion, <inaudible> friendship <inaudible> with the blessed God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Don't leave me, God, my children, I'm with you. Many of you are hungry and thirsty for righteousness. I'm filling you up. Take the limit of me, take the limit of yourself, and keep reaching out. Never underestimate what I'm doing in your life. Learn to walk humbly because I promote the, the humble. I lifted the humble. The proud I resist. Those who are proud cannot have intimate fellowship with me because their pride, which is their iniquity, is blocking them from receiving from me so they can multiply. So repent of all pride. Say, I repent. I repent. Of all pride. Of all pride. All, all Stubbornness. Stubbornness and rebelliousness. rebelliousness. All sin, I repent of them. All sin, I repent of them. I receive Jesus. I receive Jesus. And the manifested presence. And the manifested presence of the Holy Ghost and fire. Of the Holy Ghost and fire. I'm blessed abundantly. I'm blessed abundantly. Continue with that limit. Continue without limit. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So you want to tell them how they can contact Amen. us. Amen. If you'd like to get in touch with us. Um, you can go to our website, worldnetchristministries.com. Amen. And our telephone number, address, all the information is listed there. Hey, where, where a minute. She's the one that made the website. She's a genius. Thank you, Lord. I live with her. Amen. She can Praise do God. anything. She's the one who fixes things in her home. She has anointing to fix anything. Praise God. Including a jet airplane. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to go that far. Praise God. God is good. Amen. I just thank God for the Holy Spirit who helps me. Amen. Amen. So uh, get in touch. Go to our website and you can hear more teaching on our website. We also have a donation button. You can donate to this ministry. We're a tax exempt organization. We'll send you a tax donation letter at the end of the year. And uh, sow seed in this ministry so we can continue to preach and teach the gospel around the world. And many others can receive and that you received today. That retirement is only for people in United States America. Yes. Okay. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. We love you. Have a have a great day. And we are waiting to receive your donation. Okay. God bless God you. God loves you. Bye. Bye bye.